where I'm headed. All the way down the Little Salmon River.
and that was when my campsite flooded. At this point, I had packed everything up and went to bed, and I was just laying there and noticed a strange sound. At first I heard almost like a bubbling sound, and I just thought it was frogs outside my campsite or something like that. But I noticed it was getting louder, and I also noticed that I couldn't hear the river behind me anymore. So I put on my headlamp and I opened up my tent door and my whole tent was surrounded in a moat of water. So this spot is actually in the Fundy Parkway, uh, technically along the Fundy footpath. And you actually hike down Little Salmon River, which connects to the Bay of Fundy. And for those of you who don't know, the Bay of Fundy has the highest tides in the world. So you gotta be careful. And I thought I was totally safe. I couldn't hear the ocean. I couldn't even see the ocean. I was about maybe one or two kilometers inland. So I thought I was perfectly fine. But I guess I wasn't. And the tide rised so much that the river behind me actually stopped and became still and had started coming up all around my campsite. And to my credit, the campsite had a fire pit. It had a, a nice even spot for a tent. So I thought I was perfectly safe from any rising water, but I guess not. So after noticing this, I quickly evacuated my tent. I grabbed all my gear out and luckily I was just able to lift up the tent and move it while the water was coming in. And, and from what you can see from this picture that I took really quickly is where my campsite was, where the fire pit was, and how it was all underwater. At this point, I think the tide was at its highest for the night and luckily nothing really got that wet. The ground sheet from my tent got a little wet, but that didn't seep through, so that was awesome. And yeah, it could have been a lot worse. Uh, there were plenty of lower sections along this trail. So uh, for next time, I know not to stay in that site and to stay at one of the nicer, higher spots uh, a little farther upstream. But other than that, it was an awesome hike. This hike starts in the Fundy Parkway and you actually take Walton Glen Gorge down through the Eye of the Needle, uh, which is a really cool section that's only passable through the water. I saw from another YouTuber this hack where you can actually take your backpack's uh, rain cover and use it to float your bag while you're going through high water crossings. So I took his word for it. It worked in his video and it worked for me. So you can give that a try on your next hiking trip if you're so inclined. Everything stayed dry and just to be safe, everything was double packed in dry bags inside my bag. Besides the flooding, uh, everything went great. I woke up dry and I continued my hike back down which connected to the Fundy footpath and led me back up to the Fundy Parkway. It was really nice to be hiking on my home turf again besides forgetting about the fact that we have the highest tides in the world, but that's what makes it fun. If you like this video, uh, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I try to post every week or so. Uh, subscribing is the best way to see uh, future videos. And if you want to see more behind the scenes content or shorter real-time clips, uh, make sure to check out my Instagram and TikTok, which I'll link below. Thanks again for watching.